Xavi has decided to leave Barcelona at the end of the season, this time as a manager. It may not be as heartbreaking as when he left as a player, but still we will forever wonder. What if he was given the right amount of money, support and the right players? Still it is decided, Xavi will resign as the Barcelona coach at the end of the season. So what will Barca do without him? First, we have to look at why Xavi has decided to leave and what made him give up. In Xavi's own words, it was because of the toxicity surrounding the club and the pressure that comes with coaching Barca, saying that the fans are always overreacting and they ask too much from the manager or the team. But in the end, it was always because he loves the club. That is the main reason. With Kuman and Valverde, we had to wait and wait and wait until the directors sacked them. The the Barcelona core was just rotting under their management, but Xavi is different. He has always said that when he will become a problem for Barcelona, he will leave. But was this actually the right decision? Has Xavi received too much criticism for what he has done? And yes, the answer is yes. When Xavi arrived in November 2022, the club was a total disaster. And I'm not only talking about performances on the pitch. The players were cowards, fitness levels were atrocious and there was no chemistry in that team. When Xavi came, he implemented stricter rules, fines and he brought the right intensity to training sessions. His first game in charge was against Espanyol in November. And here is Xavi's first ever lineup as the Barcelona coach. What a disaster. Gavi was playing as a winger and Mingesa Pique and Eric Garcia were our defenders. It was ridiculous and not in a good way. Barcelona won 1-0 against Espanyol. Not long after, Xavi suffered his first defeat against Betis at Camp Nou. And then in the Champions League, Barca drew 0-0 with Benfica and lost hope for qualification when Barcelona lost 3-0 against Bayern Munich. But don't let the numbers fool you, the team was much better than before and clear progress could be observed. Barcelona ended the season trophyless that year. We were knocked out from the Europa League, lost the Copa del Rey and La Liga, but what mattered the most is the evolution. When Xavi came in, Barcelona were 9th in La Liga and at the end of the season they were 2nd. He completely transformed this team with minimal resources and a lot of pressure. In his second season as a manager, Barcelona got knocked out from the Champions League, playing again in the Europa League, where they got knocked out by Manchester United. So the only trophies remaining were Super Cup, Copa del Rey and La Liga. Under Xavi, Barcelona won the Super Cup, destroying Real Madrid 3-1 in the final and in May Barca won the La Liga title for the first time in 4 years and they did it in style. They had the best defense in Europe, with Kunde, Araujo, Christensen and Balde. And do not forget Ter Stegen, the best goalkeeper in the world. But after Xavi's second season, everything went downhill. Barca started this season well, especially when I remember the games against Real Betis and Royal Antwerp. Both were 5-0 victories and what a time to be a Barcelona fan it was. It was only for a while though. The worst run of form, losing 4-1 in the Super Cup against Real Madrid and 4-2 against Athletic Bilbao in Copa del Rey. Results were only one part of the problem. Barcelona under Xavi in his third season was kind of like a hit or miss, it was a ticking time bomb, one which would eventually explode. And it exploded against Villarreal. Barca lost 5-3 at home, conceding over 3 goals again. The defense was atrocious and it was clear for everybody, the club needed a change, a big change. Xavi announced at the press conference after the match that he will leave the club as a manager on 30th of June. He made the right decision and it takes a lot of courage to step down and acknowledge that you might be the problem. We now get to the main point of the video. What will Barcelona do after Xavi? See, the problem with this rebuilding project is that it is based around Xavi's ideas. The players, positions, playstyle are all set around Xavi's philosophy. Him leaving would mean 
thinking that a lot of players could become unimportant for the next manager and they might also leave. It's about Xavi's influence too. Players like Lewandowski, Kunde, Christensen would have never been here if it wasn't for Xavi. He just has the power to convince players by presenting his project, which was a stable long-term project at first. Saying that, who should be the next manager to take Barca's team forward? The dream coach would of course be Jurgen Klopp, but he will take a break from football for at least one season, which means that he is 100% not coming. Then there is Luis Enrique, the ex-Barca manager who won the treble in his first season at the club but I'm in doubt when it comes to him. Honestly, it's all about PSG's performances this season. They finished second in the group of death in the Champions League behind Dortmund. And they will come up against Real Sociedad in the UCL. PSG have a pretty good team. And if Luis Enrique fails to take them forward, then I don't think that he would be such a good option for Barcelona. Also, there is one important rule in life. Never go back to your ex. Well, we can make an exception for someone, Pep Guardiola. He is also a candidate to replace Xavi and he has always been a candidate for Barcelona when they needed a manager. But again, it's unlikely that he will sign for Barca. Guardiola has a contract until 2025 at Manchester City and he recently stated that he still has energy and looks forward to continuing at City. Also, they have won the treble last year. Why would he leave a club that's prospering for a disaster like Barca? Barcelona. It just makes no sense. Still, the most likely option for Barcelona remains Hansi Flick. In 2020, he made a machine out of Bayern Munich. They won six trophies in one year under his leadership and the playstyle was total Barca. They dominated every team and Barca nowadays surely misses that. But with the national team, Germany, Hansi Flick has failed to reach the same levels. With Germany, he only had a 48% chance of winning a game and 81% with Bayern. So this makes me think about the fact that maybe Bayern was so good that any coach would have won everything. Still, you can't neglect the fact that there was hunger, intensity and ambition in that team. Currently, he is learning Spanish, Hansi Flick, and he said that he would love to coach Barcelona. I think that he is a good option and he would get the most out of players like Ferran Torres, Lewandowski or Rafinha. Moving on, the last candidate we will analyze is Thomas Tuchel, a very good coach, but just not for Barcelona. His approach is always defensive, a style which surely doesn't suit Barca. He openly said that he would love to get the Barca job. But again, I just think that he doesn't suit this team. And the board knows that too. So what will happen to Barca after Xavi? Well, we discussed about many managers, but they still have to give the job to someone competent enough to take this team forward, which in my opinion is just very difficult. What Barcelona needs right now is experiments, trying new things. And this responsibility sits on the shoulders of both the coach and the players. If they don't deliver, then who will? Saying that, the future of Barca is looking gloomy. They have huge financial problems, unmotivated players and they are currently in a rebuilding phase which will last for who knows how long. This is the hardest job in football right now. Not only because of the external problems, but also because of the pressures. Fans always want success here. It is Barcelona, not a second tier team or an amateur club. If you don't deliver success fast here, here, then you are out. What will actually happen is a period of rebuilding again, regardless if they win something this season or not. And only time will tell if the next rebuild will be a success or not. Until then, what do you think? What will Barcelona do without Xavi?